Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new sketch tutorial on this channel. I'm going to transform one of the uh, wireframes and sketches that I did in one of the last tutorials into a real sketch uh, design today. But before I'm going to do that, I wanted to just show you the Patreon page that I just uh, created about a week ago. We are four Patreons, uh, patrons and Patrons or Patreon is a website where you can support me by uh, paying me a coffee or a big one to just uh, send your feedback to me or to just get one of these rewards that are displayed on the right side. And I'm also showing many uh, background information like a behind the scenes right here and many more articles that are in the blog right now and I just wanted to show you this page it's also linked down below so if you want to support me because you like what I'm doing head over to the page and check it out now in sketch we open up a new document and I just want to create a new artboard so hit A and we are going for the iPhone 7 artboard just like that so what we are going to create today is a overview of your contacts or friends which you will need in many apps. You will need this in uh, social networking apps, you will need it in email apps, SMS apps, basically in any app that has yeah, like a friend list or following list or something like that. And we are starting out by creating a new rectangle, so hit R create a new rectangle, drag it over to the correct position and change the width to 100%. Now get, I get rid of the border and I want to give it a nice blue color just about like this and I want to make it smaller so in this area we're going to display the status bar. We are going to display a menu button like a headline and some ways to filter the list that is going to be displayed below. So we need the status bar at first so we create new from template and we are going to create an iOS UI design. So let's open it up and we get this overview and we are simply going to copy and paste the status bar, the white one and Using this icon we can place it at the top. Now let me group this up. I call this top bar or something like that. And this is the background. So now I'm going to need a few icons. So as I said I want to create a or display a menu icon and on the right maybe like a settings icon or something like that. Just a placeholder for basically any icon that you will need. So we have a menu right here that we can simply copy and paste. And maybe we are going just for a settings icon or as I said, yeah, it can, al it can also just help as a placeholder for basically any feature or any icon that you would like to display in this certain area. Now we can also choose like a heart to go to your favorites or something like that. We can display like a browser so you can just browse for new people and maybe we are going to do this like or maybe we are going for the search magnifying icon. So you can look out for new people. Change the color to white and after that we need to change the position to about 20 pixels. So we have it at the top and I would like to just place them in about this position. Select both of them and get them down just a little bit. Now get some spacing from the left and right borders just like that. And below, as I said, I'm going, to uh, I'm going to display a filter possibility and a headline. In this case, the headline will be friends. Like that. 
super easy and we are centering it up just like that for some reason the font is really pixelated usually that shouldn't be the case I'm not sure if that's like a bug from the latest uh, sketch update or something like that or if I'm just doing something wrong right here maybe you can write that down in the comment section if you know anything about that but basically this is the way we are going now as I said I want to have a filter list below so I'm going to create a rounded rectangle to hit uh, to create it hit U and like that No borders, but the same color in a bit darker way, like that. So expand our box just a little bit and get some spacings right here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is to separate this area right here into three parts. Now we have to separate the width that we have right here into three parts. Now uh, what I'm going to do is to copy the rectangle just like that and I'm going to divide the width by three. So this is going to be our first rectangle, our first space to add some content in it. And I'm going to give it a random color right now just to see some difference there and we can simply copy it and paste it and of course just position it next to all the other elements like that so give this a full width of 116 pixels and these are the three areas that we want to fill in with some content of course now the first area will be the one that is activated, which is this one. So I give it the name active and I'm going to give it a, an even darker color like this. But I don't want it to have any rounded corners on the, on the right side. So the left side is really okay, it's really fine. But on the right side, I would just like to have no uh, border radius. So double click it to, or click the edit button at the top. Select both of them using shift, the shift key, and you can simply change the corner radius right there. Zero pixels, just like that. And this is the first active state that we are going to use. And this is latest. Now these are the latest friends or latest people that were added like that. I give it a light font weight. You can of course also use other fonts. Basically any font you like. <coughs> and now I'm simply displaying all the other areas again and I'm dragging the copy text layer to any to every area so just like that alignment should be centered so we can give it any uh, content without a changing position so this is one this one for example is favorites and the last one could also be all just like that. Now get rid of these again and we could add a separating line of course just right here. Let me get this a tr give this a try. A line hit L to create a new line and hide the rectangle again. So now we have a 
really cool navigation at the top. For the real content, we are going to add a first entry and after that we are going to work with craft if it's working in the latest plugin and it looks like it's working so what we're going to do is to just create a first entry as I said hit O to create a circle just like that which will be the profile image let me now uh, get some rulers so we can get the alignment straight right here like that and on the other side as well just like that there we see that we have to do some alignment one pixel to the right side so now we can align our oval to the correct position just like that and I'm also grouping this up to call it middle or you can also call it, call it content or give it any name you basically want it to have like that and now I would like to display if these people are online or not so I'm going to create a new smaller rect uh, oval without a border but a green color just about like that which will indicate is this person online or not so I call this indicator then we have the name in a dark gray color select it and of course change the position to the place where you want it to be and we could also say we want to give it a, an, an email so this is going to be the email right now we don't want a centered alignment so I'm going to just do this again to have the same uh, positions of both email the email can of course be a little bit smaller just like that align it somehow maybe make the text a little the, the name a little bit bigger just like that of course we can also say we want to have a centered line right here which will be right there and then we can also just drag them to the correct position about like that so that's fine now of course now we want to give these elements right here some custom content as I said and we are going to use Envision Craft it's also linked down below if you want to just use it and we want to choose a photo from Unsplash it's a portrait one so we can simply hit uh, place photos just like this and if you don't like the photo you can simply do it again and again it may take some time as, I, as it says and it's actually really easy just use any photo that you like now get to the name and what we're going to do is to add some type so we want a name for a female or both Maddie and the this is not the name this is the email we're going to give it an email just like that now the email isn't the same or isn't really related to the name but I think for this tutorial this is just fine so this is one of the content elements I'm going to group it up give it the, the name one and I want it to be duplicated vertically the amount of duplicates maybe should be about seven I guess so one two three four five maybe six is enough we can add some spacing but we are going to try this out so you see there is no spacing at all but I can do it also afterwards just like that 
what I forgot was to actually uh, create some lines which are separating the content so we are going to go back and add a line which is also kind of easy of course hit L create a new line which is separating the content like this and change the opacity so it's not that visible just like that super easy a vertical duplication and duplicate it so after that we are getting new content just like that so let me get the rulers out of the way to display the design that we just created uh, oops. sorry it's a beautiful design a friend list that you will need in probably any modern application which has some user content and the possibility to follow someone and of course if you enjoyed the tutorial just hit the thumb up button subscribe to the channel if you haven't and yeah have a look at my patreon page if you enjoy the content and if you want to just say thanks max uh, and you want to leave like two dollars over there or something like that i would be very happy about that so i want to thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week see you